Hello, welcome again to VW Feasts. Today we're making spring rolls. Yummy! No fixed recipe for spring rolls. You can basically put in them what you want to. But what you'll need is the spring roll wrappers. These you'll find the good ones in the freezer section of a nice Chinese supermarket. And we're going to use a bacon and chicken filling along with the usual bean sprouts, onions and chilies. So, first of all, we're going to cook off the chicken. Um, always meant to be super safe with this so that you're putting reasonably cooked chicken and bacon into the spring roll because the final cooking process is very quick. As always, play around. Choose what ingredients you want to put on. Put your favorite things into a spring roll. It's amazing that every culture has two fairly consistent things. One is meat in bread, think hamburger, and the other is something in pastry. And it can be as complicated as filled pasta, dim sum, wontons, or even spring rolls. I suppose if you really stretch it, then the, the Cornish pasty is something in pastry. Right in have gone our water chestnuts and our peppers. All the other ingredients just to cook them round. Obviously all cut to the size that you want them when you take a bite. I went to a cooking school in Hanoi where I think we must have made over a hundred little pastry shapes, little sort of spring rolls things in the cooking school. I have to admit that even between the, the ten of us that were there in the cooking school, that was a lot to eat. So be careful. And then your bean sprouts. Then a mixture of la light and dark soy. And also we use um, mirin, which is uh, Japanese rice vinegar. If you don't have mirin, you can use a dry sherry instead. Mixing those around nicely, making sure that those sauces are covering every last bit of it. Mm. As you can see, we're now at the stage where things are just starting to soften slightly, and we're probably ready to take that off the heat let it cool so we can actually use it and make the spring rolls. So, individual sheets of spring roll casing. You can try and make this yourself if you want, but it's easy just to buy it. Why not? A generous serving of the mixture in the middle. And then we're painting with a water and flour mix. This is going to act like a glue to be able to seal all the edges together. You don't want this to unfurl in the oil and spill its contents everywhere. This must be a complete package. So first fold in and then bring the sides in so that we can roll and have a final sealed package. Use a little bit more of the water and flour just to make sure everything sticks together. Again, these could sit in the fridge for a while and you could fry them up just before you need them. However, as always, we're hungry, so we're going to cook them now. There you go, and simply repeat until you've used up all the mixture. And there we have our spring rolls. Probably a good three bite spring roll. Right, oil again, very, very hot. And into this, we're going to put spring rolls, not overload the basket, we'll just put in three at a time. And the object again to keep them moving so they're cooked evenly around the wrapper. This is more heating up the in inside and cooking the wrapper rather than cooking all the insides, which is why we've cooked them beforehand. <clears throat> 
Interestingly, deep fat fries are fairly hard to find in Germany. I don't know how they do it. So, when you're finished, when you're ready, you have these beautiful golden spring rolls, lovely crispy. You put them to just dry off on some kitchen towel to clean off that excess oil. And then serve with a dipping sauce. We'll use a sweet chili dipping sauce on this occasion. Always cut on the diagonal, it's far posher. As you can see inside, beautiful spring roll. Enjoy.